everybody and welcome to our toddler video. It's really good to see you. Are you all okay? Brilliant. Can I see some big smiles? Wow, look at all those smiles. Now before we start, it is time for our singing sack. Are you ready to sing some nursery rhymes together? Brilliant. Well, let's have a look. What can we find today? Oh, I can hear some bells. I wonder what they're from. Oh, it's Incy Wincy Spider. We sung this a few weeks ago. Should we sing it together? Okay, let's go. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine that dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Brilliant, shall we sing it again? Okay. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine that dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Brilliant singing. Shall you see what else we have? Let's do one more. Oh, can you hear that noise? Let's see. A duck. Do we know a song about some ducks? We do, don't we? Should we sing about three little ducks? Okay. Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only two little ducks came back Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back One little duck went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack But no little ducks came swimming back no little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mummy duck said quack, 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 quack And all three ducks came swimming back Brilliant, thank you so much for singing with me Now in a minute, after we've done our wiggle song of course We are going to hear about a story And I need you to copy me, okay? We're going to learn how to sign the word queen. So whenever I say the word queen, can you go like this? Are you ready? Queen. Queen. Brilliant. Okay, it's time for our wiggle song. Are you ready to get the wiggles out of you? Brilliant. Let's sing our wiggle song together. Said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me I'm gonna shake my hands, gonna shake my feet I'm gonna shake my head, gonna groove to the beat Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me Skiddly scat, skiddly dee I gotta get the wiggles out of me Cause I wanna hear the story, it's gonna be fun Let's hear it about Jesus, it's for everyone I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me Wiggle, 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 wiggle
what I said the sign for Queen was. Queen. Queen. Brilliant. Well, in that case, it is time for our story time. Now, today's story is from our Bible, and it is called The Brave Queen. The Brave Queen. Brilliant. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Very good. Well, let's read our Bible together. The Brave Queen. Esther was an Israelite and very beautiful. Since she was so beautiful, a king chose Esther to be his queen. Chose Esther to be his queen. Brilliant. Esther was raised by her cousin. Esther and her cousin loved God very much. Haman was the king's helper. He wanted everyone to bow down to him. But Esther's cousin would only bow down to God. Haman decided to destroy the Israelites. Esther was scared. She had to do something. She was in danger. And so were all the Israelites. She prayed to God to help her come up with a plan. At dinner, Esther asked the king, Why does Haman want to get rid of all the Israelites? I am an Israelite. Haman is trying to get rid of me. The king told his guards, Take Haman away. He told Queen Esther. He told Queen Esther, I will keep you and the Israelites safe. God used Esther to save his people. Wow, what a great story about how God saves his people. He really looked after Esther, didn't he? He did. Now, I think it's time that we praise God and we thank him through singing and through dancing. So we are going to sing our favourite song again. Are you ready? It's My Lighthouse. In my wrestling and in my doubt When my failures you won't my God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubles see oh, You are the peace in my troubles see In the silence you won't let go When the questions your truth will hold My God's love will lead me through you are the peace in the trouble see oh, oh, oh you are the peace in the trouble see my lighthouse and my lighthouse is shining in the darkness and i will follow you And I will trust the promise And you will carry me safe to shore Safe to shore Safe to shore Safe to shore And I won't feel what tomorrow brings It's in each morning I'll rise and sing My God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubles See, oh, 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 you 
Father, peace in my trouble sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse is shining in the darkness, and I will follow you. And I will trust the promise that you will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. Far before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storm. Far before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storm. Far before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storm. If I Shining in the darkness And I will follow you Oh, oh my lighthouse And my lighthouse And I will trust the promise And you will carry me Safe to shore Safe to shore Safe to shore Safe to shore is it to praise God especially after we've heard the story of Esther. Now we are going to make a little craft now and it's going to remind us of the story about Queen Esther. About Queen Esther. So for this craft you will need a paper plate, some scissors and some other things to decorate with so you could use scissors, pens, feathers, whatever you have. The first thing that you need to do is fold the paper plate in half. Once you've done that, your grown up will need to cut the paper plate, but make sure you don't cut it all the way to the edge, otherwise you won't have a crown. And when you've done that, it should look like this. After that, lay your plate flat and decorate it however you would like. Make sure you don't do it on the shiny side though, otherwise it might be a little bit hard to colour. When you finish decorating, you need to pull the little triangles up so that they stand up around the rim of your plate. Once you've done that, you should have a crown fit for a queen. I'm sure your crowns will look amazing when you get to make them. But for now, I'm going to pray and then we're going to say goodbye. 
Dear God, thank you that you protected Esther and that you protect me because you love me. Amen. Thank you so much for joining this week and hopefully we'll see you next week for some more nursery rhymes, the wiggle song, a story time, my lighthouse and an activity. But for now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye!